Uh, I'm here with the guys from Wicked. Hey, welcome to Behind the Bands. Thanks for being here tonight, Yeah, man. thank you. How's it going, man? It's going great. So uh, introduce yourselves, what you do in the band for everybody, if you don't mind. I'm Danny Dowd, play bass. I'm Scotty V, lead guitar. JP Clubs on drums. Chad Michael on vocals and uh, rhythm guitar. So when I was researching you guys, and it's the first time seeing you tonight, so it's going to be cool. And my first question is, you guys on your website listed yourself as nomadic. Can yeah. you kind of give an explanation of that? I mean, we're never in one place. We're always uh, on the road, you know, with music and just in general with life. I mean, we're always on the run. We like to see places and, you know, meet people. So, yeah. yeah. The glamorous life. We keep, our, we keep our bags packed because we never just stay in one place. So. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, I can't 100% tell by looking, but we've got two brothers brothers in the band, so yeah, the brothers right. are who. Chad and I. So, so let's talk about how long have you guys been playing music together, and, and what's that relationship like? I, I mean, Chad and I, we always piggyback off of each other, you know, from, we were younger, we played hockey together, and we started playing music when we were like five, so I, I started with guitar, and he learned from me, and now he's a guitarist, now I'm a bassist, so, yep. yeah, <laughs> we're always pushing each other, so. Now, I was listening to your music today, and I noticed a couple times you guys referred to David Bowie as an influence, and I'm, yeah, I'm not picking it up in the music, so explain that a little bit to me. Like, where does that come into the music? It's it's like the Ziggy Stardust era we yeah. really like, and it, it's a lot with the guitar, right, Scotty? I mean... Old rock and roll riffs. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And does it find its way? I mean, is it somebody? Is David somebody? You guys look a lot younger than me. So he, is he somebody you've been listening to all your lives, or did you oh, find yeah, him? Oh, yeah, grew up. Uh, yeah. He's been, like, a major role model for me. So. Yeah. In what way is it, the, is it the songwriting or just every? Well, yeah, a little bit of the songwriting, but like mostly his persona on stage and the way he comes across to the audience. It's just something I've always wanted to be. Now, I, hopefully you take this in the right way and a compliment. <laughs> um, I, in a way, I look at bands like you guys and I say you look younger than me, and I look at <laughs> bands like you to kind of, and the other bands here tonight to kind of keep keeping glam rock and '80s yeah. rock alive. Is that? A mission of yours of any kind, or is it just something? Well, that's just I mean, the kind of music you like, and we like it. We're really into the '70s music a lot more, in in a sense. Even though we kind of come across a little bit '80s, but uh, it's all original stuff. So we'll take the influences from you know back in the day and stuff. But we just want to do our own thing. We have our own messages in our songs and stuff. So. Now, um, tell me a little, I'm going to ask you about two different songs. Um, tell me a little bit first about the tune Painkillers. I listened to that one today and like that one. And uh, Give me a little bit of history behind yeah, it. Who I mean, wrote it and where it... Yeah, we, we all actually, we write together. It's uh, all four of us and our manager. Uh, we sit down and we write, you know, write the riffs, write the lyrics and stuff. And like Painkiller, um, I used to take poetry, so it kind of goes really in depth, like more metaphors, you know, about like relationships and stuff and how it could, you know, kind of be used both ways, so... And then the other song, uh, based on your uh, nomadic lifestyle, tell me a little <laughs> bit about uh, Hot Stage Lights. Is that about life on the road? Uh, oh, or yeah, there's definitely. There's a story there. Yeah, I mean, 100%. You know, we played Rocklahoma last year. We're going back again this year. So, you know, a lot of those big shows when we're in New York and stuff, it's that. It's kind of like those vibes that you get, you know. You get it on the stage, just that adrenaline and all the excitement, you know, trying to capture that in a song. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, so I saw a lot, dude, this is almost like um, Rocklahoma comes east tonight because yeah. there's like three or four bands on this bill tonight that are rock. That's right. So it's your second time going out there, is that yeah, correct? That's yeah, that's correct. So how's the Kickstarter coming? I know you guys have been trying to... We're actually, know. we're making good headway. Yeah, I mean... We got like a couple more weeks left and we're, uh, we're yeah. almost there. Yeah, we're so about, we're about a quarter it. left, so I, our, we, we got to thank our fans, you know, that's what, you know, we do all this for and, you know, they're really helping out, of course, so yeah, we love them for that, yeah. Now, where's the best place for people to go to take part of that Kickstarter? If they want to see this and they want to help out getting you guys out to Rocklahoma, yeah. where do they go? Well, they could go to our website, yeah. www.wickedrockandroll.com. So, um, tell me a good story about Rocklahoma the first time you were there. <laughs> Mind you, we're a PG-13 site. Let me let me preface this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we we had a lot of good uh, time in the press tent, um, and we actually ran into like people like Hailstorm and stuff. And I mean, that was pretty cool. You know, we're sitting there doing press, and then they walk in, they're doing it right next to us. So it was uh, pretty <laughs> pretty exciting. Yeah, we yeah. started off with uh, 
with uh, one interview and then everybody else wanted to interview with us afterwards. Yeah, it was, it was like a crazy. snowball so effect. We went up on, like, a We're out there with our like heels and our you know studded jackets and stuff. So, <laughs> so let's talk about album releases and and music. What what's going on with albums right now? Is there a place where somebody find one? Is there one in production? We actually we j- we had one out a, a little while ago. It was a limited release. There was only like three hundred copies made. It was called Origins, and um, it kind of had songs that told about like the beginning of where we were and. Now we're kind of moving in a different direction and like evolving as Wicked Wood, and uh, we're working on a live album right now. It's going to be called Life Live, and uh, it's going to be released on vinyl with the whole gatefold and everything. So <laughs> see, I, yeah. I knew you guys were yeah. throwing back. <laughs> yeah, I can just tell it. I met you right away. <laughs> so, um, do you ever get to go out and see live shows yourself? Do you get to actually? You guys seem like you tour a lot. Do you get to watch live music? And who do you guys see if you do? Uh, yeah, I mean sometimes you know the. There's, you know, so many concerts. We used to go down to Jones Beach a lot and make, like, a, you know, weekend of that and see some bands. That was a lot of fun, all us boys. But, um, you know, we try to catch, like, some of our favorite ones. Like, one to drop a name is Stars. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. I don't know Back that, but... in the 70s, they were on Casablanca with Kiss. Awesome. And so they kind of got those vibes. But, you know, they never really got their recognition, but they're an awesome band. Now, this grouping here, how long, because I know you guys have been together forever since your brothers, but how yeah. long has the rest of the band been around, and, and did, where did you all find each other? About two and a half years, and uh, we actually met Josh, uh, we met him at a music store locally. <laughs> he was working with our manager, Yeah. and uh, we ended up uh, practicing, and then uh, starting to write some songs, and then we found him on online. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking for, like, the, you know, the best guy to complete the role, you know, like, long, blonde hair, basically. I was going to ask yeah. if it was the hair, did you actually listen? We're, we're, we're worried about the guitar right away, but then, you know, he had the chops, so it worked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, listen, with the live album coming out, you got Rocklahoma. I hate to almost suggest this, but what else do you got coming up the rest of 2014? Well, you know, like I said, we got the live album coming out, and then uh, we're probably going to be going out on tour to support that, so you can look forward to seeing dates on that. Yep. Yeah. Last question. Uh, it's going to be my first time seeing you guys tonight, so tell me what to expect. <laughs> oh, man. You're gonna... <laughs> Just you're loud in... rock and roll, oh, yeah. you know, harmonies and uh, a lot of energy. Definitely a lot of energy yeah, with sure. heels on. So <laughs> <laughs> I love that. it. That <laughs> That's a great t-shirt. Energy with heels on. Man. You got to work at that one. <laughs> guys, thanks so much for being yeah, around. Thank behind you. Thank you, guys.